Hey guys, welcome back. This is our fifth take, I think, with ladybugs flying around and everything. Anyway, today we're making stuffed pistolets. You can do stuffed pistolets so many ways. Uh, you can do rice, crawfish, or anything. What we do, we do it simple. We just do ground beef for our deer meat. We're, today we have deer meat because that's what we got in the freezer. And um, that's what we're using. So today, what we're going to do is start with Addie. She's going to help me. Um, you can get these. I just I get the, there's only one local grocery store that um, provides them in our area, so they go fast. But, um, okay, and this is how you're going to start. I got my I don't ground know. beef browning over there. I'm going to show Addie how to do it. Just, I kind of hold it to the side like this, and I just cut the top off. And then you get your bowl, and you just start pinching. Mm -hmm. Pinching. You got the close-up in them. And we're just going to pinch around the edges and make a little bowl. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> if you make a hole in the bottom, you can just <laughs> stuff it back it's in. It's fun. You can stuff it back in there. But um, that's what it looks like. It looks like a little bowl. And Addie's going to get that cookie sheet over there. Get that cookie sheet, please. Yes, ma'am. Right here. Whole neck okay. and a YouTube video all in one. And I and she's gonna start lining and I'm just gonna I kinda put the tops that go to the ones like that. But that's what we're gonna do and Addie, cool. you can get going. Okay. Start cutting tops. We got that done um we'll be back we're gonna let our ground beef get really cooked and then we'll start mixing our mixture together and stuff them so we'll be back ready. okay our venison is um good and brown and we don't have we were, i drained it okay so now you're gonna put a cream of mushroom a can of cream of mushroom This is probably about, this is probably a little, we don't really measure our, our venison out when put it in bags, but this is probably about maybe two pounds. We ain't gonna need that much. I'll put it up in the freezer for an, another meal, but I put it, let's see, yeah, I'm just gonna add it. I put a lot of cheese. I got a cup and a half, two cups of cheese. And we're just gonna give that a stir. A lot of the things I cook, I don't have a recipe, so I really don't know what to tell you on measurements. I just kind of add. Right. Now Colton will eat these. He loves stuff with his toilets. Okay, and I'm just going to season. I already seasoned my meat before I put the mixture in. Wow. While it was raw, but I'm gonna put a little bit more seasoning. Probably like a teaspoon of pepper. Just a, like a half a teaspoon of salt because your um, cream mushroom already has some. And a little bit of onion powder, about a half a teaspoon. And about a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Put me a, a hot pad over there, please. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take it over. We're gonna take it over here. And we're gonna add a scoop these. Do I know? I'll do the first one and then she can do the rest. You're just gonna get your little spoonful. And then put the lid. Put the lid on. Okay, I have um, it makes 
a lot. Like it is a, it's a little bit goes a long way with this So what I'll do is put this in the freezer. We usually eat more, but my husband's not home right now. So <laughs> put this to the side. We'll put that in the freezer and do more at a, at a later date. But um, I had to get that butter out of the um, microwave, please, ma'am. Is it supposed to be melted or soft? Because it's melted. <laughs> okay. Now we got some melted butter. If you don't put butter on these, they get like really, really overly country. So crunchy, country. country. These rolls get country. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna spread a little butter on them. I know some people are on here laughing at my accent. You know, it can't be helped. I go into the <laughs> elevator. One time I went to the elevator and the man asked me to talk because he liked my accent. And I don't realize how bad I talk until I hear myself on video. I remember one time there were these little girls in an elevator and mama went in there talking to them and then they started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah. I was raised in the backwoods of Louisiana. We're going to put these in the oven on 350 and you know I really never set a timer I go by look so I'm going to time it for y'all and let y'all know how long y'all cook them so we'll be back okay now we're going to get the, the oven. these don't take long you don't want to overcook them they get really country C crunch country <laughs> again I can't get country um they'll get really country country <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Addie, how long was it? Seven minutes. It's about seven minutes, five, seven minutes, and they're really good. And we have these left over. I'm a utilizer. I, if I have stuff left over, I find a way to use it. So, we're going to use this for our um, shrimp patties. We're going to put it in the freezer, and we're going to put this leftover meat in the freezer, too, for next time. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Hey, welcome back. Um, today we're going to cook. Hold on, stop. Hey, got. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, you know, so good, and then it got messed up. Okay, ready? Come Wait, on. you want to? <laughs> hey guys, after the third interruption, we're now doing. This shot, so maybe this will work out. <laughs> Today we're making stuffed pistolets. Um, you, we have like a ladybug <laughs> problem in our house. I don't know if it's a southern thing or what. Today we're making stuffed pistolets. Oh my gosh, this video. Okay, I got ground frozen vent, uh, deer meat on the oven, but you could use you could use ground beef. But um, I just it's on. Stop.